This prophet knelt down in honor of his ancestors, but that was not it. He didn't just end it right there. He then went as far as attacking the message of the church or the message of the gospel, as you might actually know it. And I thought, wow, these people are going out really hard and they are really attacking the Bible now. But not just the Bible, the core message. Remember from the Old Testament to the New Testament, the goal was that people understand the entirety of the message. And so right now they are really going at that. And so we're going to be talking about that particular episode right now. It's the reality show. Daily Christian commentary videos. Other episodes done today to be done in the pin comments and I'm going to check you out over there. So let's go in, listen to what he was saying and uh, let's hear how does he justify or make a justified case of what he was saying. Kuzo sonto abandu. Kwa se kunjulu kuti konje e romu be kuti magbula wabandu. Romans Catholic Church. Ma be bulawa. Be bulawe be lengswe spamba nwe. Le si spamba no akshincho e sona. Kuchiwe wongu muntu fanele akolelwe e spamba nwe ngoba. Kuno muntu wafa e fela bandu kupikona e spamba nwe. Aske si eglo muntu we manchi. O fela bandu. Ok. So, is he going to use the example of Tabo Besta to explain the person who was believed on, who was on the cross? Okay, let me just hear him out. Elan, Elo Kifengula, Elinye, Elo Gwekaiche, Agesuaye Gamanyi Sati Lawa Utu. So charges Ushuguti charge ga chesu a konu feli zono zabandu. Ufuge lumbuso wa marom. Azibi. What? So he's saying based on the charge. <laughs> they are becoming even technical. They are becoming even smarter. The mandems are becoming more. They're even using the Bible with verses without noting that while how they're presenting it, it's actually wrong. Now, I'll explain why do I say it's actually wrong. Because I don't think he noted, I didn't listen to the message before. And so I just noted a particular portion and then... So, you see... What he has ignored is that they changed the charges. When Jesus was taken to the cross, or the night of the charges being brought up, there was a change of charges. The intention of the case was to show the immorality of men, the wrongfulness, the, the wickedness of men. That was the whole subject. Of what you see in that case. The sin had to be that intentional. Okay? Because they accused him of blasphemy. You'll remember they brought up people to, ex to accuse him. Right? And then when those people who were accusing him, according to the law of the Jews, there had to be some correspondence to the information that was being provided but then what they found was that these people were even they, there was no consistency in their message or in the things that they said or the things that they were accusing him of and so this showed that there was conspiracy involved another two uh, number number two 
Mm. The, the, when you actually were in court over a matter, you had to actually look at the majority of, uh, guilty verdict versus the innocent, those that said he was guilty and those that said, and if it was just an all out, everybody said, yes, he's guilty, they would already suspect conspiracy because there is no jury that's ever 100% saying, yes, he is guilty or innocent. And so these things were ignored when the case was going you see the subject was to show man's sinful nature and so he's missing that and as a result he accuses that the the issue was with rome and the jews he's completely missed it but i'm i'm still gonna read you the verse that i want to read concerning this particular matter continue <laughs> And they clap because they don't understand that part. There was a change of charges. The intention or the, the, the idea behind it is to see the state of man's heart. So man kuluma lendo, as tanas, man kuluma lendo, itimon lo kala edi luanam, itimon le religion. Bonke labanta bang chua ya bakabe ene nam, omu nye ben kuluma na enam tanje, uti gimi, ahige ma kecha kecha, ma uti lengole ya belum, ushuti yegu, oge impasha za belum. Nitimina Yabonji Mundia King and Ganjan. Sitila Nama issues as three as some shab. Neko Lita was humble, Obuza Belu, Muguti, Baubuis and Inum Shab, and over in Colo it is Yalinga. Go to Zobuza me, Nuguti, in Pata Zabelum is born, and at his Enzo Belum, Catizenzo, all my way to no Baba Bay to Lesin. Okay. So even there again, another misconception. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness y'all can't keep keep doing this man okay because you see earlier on he was he was taking verses that actually say that but without understanding the proper context which was what change of charges which is there it's written you have to be reading the bible in order to come to that conclusion now here you can see another area where he brings up something that shows his intention, he says, the person, he was talking to someone because they don't want to answer to these issues that he is asking about. They then asked him, so if these things are about white people, why are you wearing white people's clothes? And then he says, you see, you are, you are very small minded because you don't even understand. That's his answer. That you don't even understand that the very clothes we are wearing are made by our mothers and fathers. I'm sorry. China is not our mother. <laughs> okay? China is not our mother. Indonesia is not our mother. We are not even close when it comes to ancestral. If you are saying bloodline, because remember, all we all have a common ancestor when it comes to bloodline. Right? But on the subject of ancestral, no, 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 we are not even close. So, which ones? You see, it's how they use information. That's the problem. Note. Anyways, continue. But it just that it design the Africa nabo. Go to his dangers in Zayo. See about Zalibeto even today. We are was Buza mean which in a gorilla and impatience of a loom. Go to our was your bosom loom which will tattle and um shabba wait. That's just a political point. They clap hands because, yeah, they like that one. Yeah, yeah the white people must bring back our gold. <laughs> Anyways, continue. So, in the end, I get it. Tell us that you see a pendula, see telactic or wrong on a CNOH. So, the problem which makes it difficult for us to have the answers for our press that we are 
praying to the wrong God. Or so we are asking the wrong God. Hmm. Mobasati school as Beleseleng and Wat from Sunday school, Beleseleng and Wat Unkulungulu Altanaganga is also a Nigella. So we are we've been natured by this book, we've been natured by the Bible in, in, the, in the essence of what he's saying. We were natured by this book that said, you know, God gave his beloved son, okay. He says, so that he may have eternal life by believing in him. But how are we still bearing people if he has eternal life? You see, again, misunderstanding. He's misunderstood eternal life. This world is judged and the body's redemption is in the future it's not current so we are saved the spirit man and the body still has its day of redemption that's why the bible says then mortality shall put on immortality eternal life we have present tense okay and when was it obtained on the cross past tense the body and the death the Bible, the Bible tells us the body still goes to the grave. And it says the last enemy being death shall be judged. There is a day appointed. So you see, he has his, he has his uh, dispensationalism wrong. His understanding of the intention of the Jews when they took him to the cross. It was clear they were trying to protect their power. It was the wickedness, that thing. Now he says, no, he didn't die for sin. So, but the Bible says he died for sins. You don't believe it is, that's your thing, right? But, but anyways, let's continue. We were made to imagine a life we've never reached. The Bible was made by politicians. Okay. It's the same idea that that other guy was preaching when he said you know, they had to, the white people they had to capture the black people. Now, it's in spite of what happened then, of what happened when the white people came to South Africa, it does not question the Bible. It had nothing to do with the Bible. The Bible was not written by England. Guys. <laughs> Y'all are next level these days. Okay, let's go on. Ahamba ayengi landi ku Queen Elizabeth. Ngoba u Queen uyona ea nchonja umshaba wa se Afrika na ma resources a se Afrika. Ya nchonja ngani ngwati kushuta ma power se paipeli. Umuto benefita nga ma royalty se paipeli. Hilo oonga o pihaide palwe ngwalo. So the person who wrote the Bible is the one who's stealing from us. That's a misconception. That's a lie from the pit. Pan-Africanists love this idea, and it's a lie, guys. Y'all gotta stop peddling that word. The Bible is a Middle Eastern book. You were colonized by Europeans. Shut up with that. Y'all gotta stop that one. Y'all gotta stop that one. Y'all gotta stop peddling those lies because that stuff can't work no more, man. Come on. We gotta... It's 2024. Y'all gotta stop using that one.
can properly put it in context here. Misconception does not answer the disbelief. But when you become a minister of this type of deception, we have to bring it back into context. This is sad that people are... The Bible is a Middle Eastern book. Stop using that argument. It doesn't fly, okay? And I don't know why they consistently try to peddle this idea. This stuff that he's saying here, it's been... For how long will we keep saying, stop using that argument? It's a Middle Eastern book. Were you, were you colonized by Israel? So keep that out of your thinking. That don't fly. It's 2024. Y'all got to upgrade your, your arguments. They stand on the pulpit claiming titles of prophets and what and all this stuff and, and then I take the Bible. They're not just they're just evangelizing Bungoma and dead people and what. They are now attacking the core roots of the Christian faith. I thought to come and bring it here and so we can put it in its proper context. It's Ricky and I'll see you on a later on episode. Y'all have a good one. See you later.